hi guys welcome back to my channel how are you moving welcome back to my channel thanks again for stopping by today's video is going to be all about self-care and how i'm aiming to care about myself a little bit more this year last year was definitely really quite difficult to have even some time for myself because this little one came along, didn't you? And stole all of my free time. I wouldn't have it any other way, obviously, but I think now he's one years old, it's time to focus a little bit more on me whenever I get the time. And I thought I would just tell you how I plan on doing that this year. Before I get into the swing of the video, I just wanted to let you know that Channel Mum have a whole section on self-care tips and things to do to look after yourself and you know to care about yourself all over on their website so I will make sure I leave the link down in the description bar below so if you are in need of some self-care tips there'll be lots of information down below so if you click the link then it will take you straight to their website so number one for me I would say for self-care I plan on being kinder to myself I I always have this negative niggling voice in my head telling me that I'm too big or I'm not pretty enough or I'm not nice enough. Just all these negative things and whenever I look in the mirror in the morning I always speak negatively about myself and and I just fed up. I'm fed up of telling myself all of these negative things because the more you tell yourself these things, the more you start to believe it. And actually, I'm so fed up of believing myself of all these things I'm telling myself that are not even true. I don't know where I get it from. It's just so self-critical, just negative, And I'm just so fed up of it and it's draining. And it really is just mentally exhausting being so negative and telling yourself that you're not good enough. So I am going to be kinder to myself and more positive. So every time I look in the mirror in the morning, I'm going to say one positive thing that I like about myself that day, whether it be my outfit or my hair or my makeup, anything, just one kind thing, because I'm pretty sure if I do that every single day, then I'm gonna start to believe that and I'm gonna feel so much happier. And I just think generally, if you are a happier person, then life is so much better and happier for you. I'm gonna try and plan a little bit more this year for me. Um, and not feel so guilty about leaving. Everybody gets mum guilt and I totally get that and that's just so, so normal no matter what you do. But I want to be able to plan things and go out with my friends and leave the boys and Dan without feeling guilty and without worrying too much. I want to know that I deserve this break because I do work flipping hard with these boys. You know, it is constant, it's full on and I do deserve a break and I don't want to feel guilty for giving myself that break. And again, it's like that negative thing, isn't in it oh I don't want to go out because I feel guilty and being at home all the time with these four little ones is exhausting isn't it it's so exhausting number three what I'm going to try and do for self-care this year is have a bath once a week I know that sounds really really ridiculous and that doesn't mean that I don't have a shower every day because I do I shower every every morning sometimes every evening as well but what I mean by bath is just totally relax <laughs> <laughs> have a bubble bath, just have some time when the boys are asleep. I know that then cuts out time for me and Dan, which is obviously another thing that I feel really bad about, but again, I need to relax, I need to wind down, I need to do something for me. I feel like my mind is constantly always thinking about the next thing and always going into what can I do next? After this is done, what can I do next? And it's just, my mind is just like constant overdrive and thinking it just doesn't stop so i want to just relax more that's another thing i was going to say for self-care i am trying to be healthier and eat better and drink more water because i know that that is going to be better for me i think just your whole mentality doesn't it just changes because you feel more upbeat you feel more positive more awake more energy it's so weird because i never used to be like this and then since having children i just worry all the time and i'm just negative and i've put my absolute everything and all into them that i've just kind of forgotten about myself completely which is fine and i'm glad that i and i'm glad that i've done that with the boys because you know they're my boys and i want to give my all to them but then i can't i can't pour from the empty cup and i am exhausted and i'm so burnt out i've literally got nothing left i need to take these steps 
to make me a better person, to make me a more um, patient and happy mum, I guess. Those are gonna be the things that I'm gonna do for me this year and how I'm gonna take better care of myself. I am trying so hard to stick to all of these and I know it's gonna be weird trying to do stuff for me. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this video up now because I feel like I'm rambling a bit, but you totally get where I'm going with this. Anyway, let me know what you guys do for yourself, to have time for yourself, to take care of yourself. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe while you're over here. And if you found my channel just by the off chance and you've enjoyed this video, then please make sure you stick around by subscribing. And I would love to see you around in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys.